I'm kind of on the topic of self-actualization uh, today, right now, and that's the only moment we have. Yeah, take a second. Look around. Stop looking at the screen. Pause it if you must, or keep listening if you will. And look around at your surroundings and look and see exactly where you are. Look at the lighting, look at the size of the room, the coloring of the room, notice your body if you want to. Um, if there's turmoil in it, try not to make up what the turmoil is about. Just look and see what is the actual sensation. Uh, does it have a communication? Uh, is, is there a place that you can go or something that you can do to relieve the turmoil? And I'm going to suggest go. <laughs> go do that which will relieve the turmoil. Uh, but there's been a lot of oh, writing, searching uh, about finding your purpose. Deepak Chopra talks about it. You have to find your purpose, your, your dharma. What is your life course? And I'm going to tell you, you're on your life course. You're on the exact right course for you. If you get a sense that there's a different life course for you. What happened to me 25 years ago, 26 years ago, I was practicing kinesiology. I loved it. When I was with my patients, I didn't think about me. And then I took a weekend course, and it it transformed me. It changed how I think. It changed how I lived my life. Uh, in a physics book called The Dancing Wooly Masters, they said at that point in my time, I made, I made both choices. There's one that decided not to take the blue pill or whatever and, and continue on, and, and that's still going on in a parallel universe someplace that I'm not aware of. But uh, that's getting out there. But I am out there right now. I'm just uh, I'm on the purpose of life. I had a woman, <clears throat> I was at a trade show, in Iowa. You know, that stands for idiots out wandering about, don't you? Um, but I'd walked away from my booth, I came back to my booth, and she was standing there and looking at the charts that I use right, to make distinctions, performance charts to make distinctions where you are. Uh, if you can make those distinctions, a lot of times it makes it easier for you to get to where you want to be. But this woman was saying, well, not any questions about this stuff, really. She said, I'm really uh, curious about what my purpose is. And it, the energy went down. It was like she was really like concerned about it. And she was a big gal. And when I saw her from behind, all I felt was this real delight in her system. And I said, what if your purpose is frivolous? <laughs> what if it is frivolity? What if that's what you came here for? And you're spending all this serious energy looking for your purpose. What if it is only to have fun? What if it's what if it's frivolous? What if it seems frivolous to everybody else on the planet, but is it is the thing that coalesces your spirit into your physical body and allows you to live in magnificence? I never heard from her after that. <laughs> so I cannot give you the oh my god, and then this happened to her. What happens to my clients happens to my clients. What is more relevant, I think, is how they handle what's happening to them. Right? That's relevant in my life right now. One of my clients, their world is falling apart. And I'm, that's, that's, that happens. Your world will fall apart. But who are you going to be within the context of your world falling apart? Do you have a discipline to allow yourself to get out of your own way and enjoy you as you're going through that? Have a fun day, www.micpeakperformance.com.